News Channel 8. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. One man is dead. A woman is in the hospital after a two-county crime spree. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd calling both suspects dangerous felons. Now, this all started in Plant City where the suspects are accused of running over a detective with a truck. During their run from Hillsborough County, they carjacked someone. They were eventually tracked down in Mulberry, and that's where Polk County deputies opened fire. We have team coverage for you tonight, beginning with Melanie Michael. She is live in Mulberry, where this all came to a dramatic and deadly end. It did. Good evening to you both. I want to bring you up to speed on what has been taking place here in Mulberry with this investigation. The sheriff just held a news conference, and here's what we know at this hour. An intense day for three separate agencies, three separate law enforcement agencies, including the Polk County Sheriff's Office, Hillsborough Sheriff's Office, and Plant City PD. Now, from the ground, this is the investigation right here as we speak. This is a mobile home park where that shootout took place. But let's give you some uh, video from Eagle 8 HD high in the sky where the scene is looking down on the ground. The investigation, as I mentioned, continues at this hour here in Mulberry, where a young deputy, just 26 years old, confronted, as you mentioned, two dangerous felons in this mobile home park. When a neighbor yelled out, he's got a gun, Deputy Andre Jackson feared for his life and fired a shot at a man named Aaron Phillips, a man with a long criminal record. Deputy Jackson confronted some very dangerous people all alone. And he lived to tell about it. And once again, this investigation has many moving parts. It is going on right now as we speak, both here and in Plant City. We will bring you the very latest up, there, up to date on air and online and on our free News Channel 8 app. For now, I'm Melanie Michael in Polk County Live, 8 on your side. Thanks, Mel. And this all started in Hillsborough County when detectives tried to serve an arrest warrant on a man wanted for kidnapping. Rod Carter continues our live team coverage. He is in Plant City tonight. Rod. Hey, good evening, Stacy. This happened around noon right here in the convenience store parking lot right behind me, and it ended with one of the suspects shot, one of those suspects dead, and a Plant City police detective in intensive care. Late today, a tow truck hauled off the Plant City Police Department's SUV after it was rammed by a suspect. The detectives followed the vehicle to the United Food Mart. This all started early this morning with surveillance and a warrant and quickly turned into a life and death situation for one of those detectives. While attempting to stop that vehicle, uh, conduct a traffic stop on that vehicle, the driver of the vehicle uh, rammed the two police vehicles that were in the immediate vicinity. Those detectives fired at the suspect, but they kept on going. You can see just how banged up the SUV is, as well as the other detective's truck. Well, those suspects took off from here, ended up dumping their car and stealing someone else's off of Cooper Road just a few miles away. The occupants of that vehicle carjacked a second vehicle, which was a blue Toyota Tacoma. The detective who was run over has five years experience and was taken to Lakeland Regional Health with serious injuries. Police say this speaks volumes about the dangers they face every day. We deal with this type of evil, getting them off the street. And just because they did this to our officer today, we're going to get them for him. And then when he gets better, he's going to come back to work and take the next one to jail. And we certainly know that they did get the person they were looking for as the uh, sheriff's office there in Mulberry uh, shot those suspects, one of them, and killing the other one of uh, other suspect. By the way, one of the warrants that they were attempting uh, to serve here was for kidnapping for one of those people. We did get some late-breaking information, too. We are told that the uh, detective is in intensive care right now and that he has serious internal injuries and also some fractures as well. Reporting live in Plant City, Rod Carter, 8 on your side.